guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a vlog style day in my life. You guys get to know my routine a little bit. And we gotta give a huge shout out to Lancome right off the bat for sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited to show you guys their new Labsalu Mademoiselle Shine lipsticks that I've been really loving. But we will get more into that later in the video when I do my makeup. But let's talk about how I start my mornings. You know, I am not a morning person. It takes a lot of alarms to try and wake me up, mostly because I don't really hear them. But most Mostly because I like to gradually wake up. So I'll hit snooze a bunch of times. Probably Cuddle Prince. I use him as an excuse to stay in bed because he is so cute and cuddly in the morning. Eventually we get up and I take Prince, let him out to do his little winkle out there. He likes to soak up the sun in the morning. Sometimes he lays out there for a bit and just sunbays. It's so cute. <laughs> I'll make my coffee because no day can be started without caffeine. Mm -mm, not in Sylvia's world. And then I usually just come back to bed to check my phone, drink my coffee, cuddle print some more. So that's usually how I start my day, but today specifically, we do have a few things on the agenda. We're gonna start by getting ready, do my hair, my makeup. I have a bunch of packages I gotta go pick up. We'll probably unbox a few of those. Probably do some grocery shopping. I also really wanna show you guys how I've been doing my own DIY acrylic nails at home. Gotten pretty good now. A lot of you have been curious about that when I posted on my Insta stories, so I will show you guys how I do them. But who knows what else the day will bring. I'm gonna go wash my face, do my skincare routine, and get things started. Let's do it. I just got from Urban Outfitters, green, velvet, very soft, feeling cute, and now ready to do my makeup. Let's go to my beauty room. done. I've been snacking on some fruit. Honestly, in the mornings, I don't really have a huge appetite, so my breakfast is always small. But now for the fun part, we're gonna try on a few of the Lancome Labsalu Mademoiselle lipsticks. That way I get to show you guys a few of my favorite shades from the line, and also we can choose what lip color I like best with this eye lip. So the first shade I'm gonna try on is called Call Me Shiny. Labsalu Mademoiselle Shine is this hydrating, balmy, but still long-lasting conditioning lipstick that has this really shiny finish. My lips have been super super dry recently so I've been reaching for more hydrating light weight balmy type lipsticks so here she is fully applied it's this gorgeous super deep plum color next shade we'll try is called shine bright gorgeous I love this one it has this really juicy kind of sweet fragrance and it just melts right on your lips so easily gives you this beautiful instant shine so here she is completely applied beautiful coral peachy shade I also really really like mademoiselle stands out it's this gorgeous bright Bright, orangey red. Then there's Mademoiselle Smiles, which is a really pretty kind of vibrant pinkish red. And Light It Up is this really gorgeous kind of mauve shade. The lipsticks also have such pretty packaging. It's this rose gold bullet. The last shade we're trying is called Mademoiselle Plays. This really pretty kind of neutral nude shade. Ooh. And the formula of these lipsticks is really meant to enhance the color and the luminosity. And because it's so creamy and hydrating, it's meant to really improve your lips over time. It's basically like a lip balm, but you got that balm color payoff on there. As well and I'm really loving those lipsticks let me know if you've tried them what do you think of them do you prefer a more balmy lipstick like this one or do you reach for more super matte lipsticks which girl are you I'm a little bit of both depends on the day but now that I'm finally ready time to get on with the rest of the day I think I'm gonna go pick up some of my PR packages oh. 
All right, so we got my packages. Move this over here. Use my handy dandy trolley filled her up. I love this thing. I got it off Amazon and it makes my life so much easier. I use it for groceries and packages and things like that. Let's see what we got today. I'll just open a couple of them up, not all of them, just to save some time. If you guys do like seeing my first impressions on new makeup when it comes in, I've been posting my unboxings and first impressions on my IGTV. So make sure to follow me on that. The first one is something from Skin Suticles. Looks like they're coming out with a new serve. I love this brand. I have a couple of their products that I use every single day in my skincare routine. And next, it looks like we got some stuff from Garnier, some new hair care. They sent some of their Express Retouch Gray Hair Concealer. What else do we have in here? There's a hydrating facial mist and also a whole blend leave-in conditioner. Let me try it. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. This is so refreshing. My AC is broken right now, you guys. I'm sweating up a storm as we speak. They also sent their Glow Boost 2-in-1 Facial Mask and Scrub. Ooh, definitely trying that one. Next is from Glow Recipe. Hi, Sylvia. So excited for you to try our new Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist Pink Juice Moisturizer for oily to combo skin. A sleeping mask with hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to give you glowing radiance and soften your skin. So those are just some of the packages that I received today, but your girl has so many to go through. So I'm gonna have to do another IGTV unboxing. And then in the early afternoon, I usually just take some calls. If I have any meetings, I'll go to those. Um, today, I'm just gonna be checking some emails, catching up on work. I'll update my planner, go through what I need to do that day or for the rest of the week, make sure I'm on top of things. I spent most of the afternoon on my computer. Usually during the week, I will spend most of the day inside getting work done. Sometimes in the afternoon, I'll schedule my appointments or take meetings. But today, I spent most of it just indoors. I did already eat some lunch. I just had some quick leftover pizza in the fridge. Cause if you know me at all, you know I cannot cook, okay? Or anything I can cook. Cook. Is anything a five-year-old can make? So like bagels, cereal. You want some of that? I can make you that. Or there, I got you on that. I usually just get stuff delivered, but I do need some groceries. I have like absolutely no snacks or anything right now. So I'm gonna head on over to Trader Joe's and do a little bit of grocery shopping this afternoon. Before I go, I'm gonna feed my puppy Prince, give him some food, and then we'll head on over to Trader Joe's. Let's go. <laughs> So good, but one pack is never enough. I go through them so quick. I'm just gonna get a bunch. You know we can't leave without getting some wine. <laughs> I also go through this very quickly, so we'll stock up. got my food I'm gonna eat and surprise surprise look who came over yay Carrington my girl we're finally reunited and it feels so good she came just in time because show them your nail so this happened today well bam have no fear did you know that I can do my own acrylic nails from home <laughs> I learned how mm -hmm. let wow. me show you so I'll fix your nail I also Ripped one of my nails off to show you guys how I did it. So I'm gonna eat this food to catch up with my Care Bear a little bit, and then we'll fix our ratchet nails. All right, Carrington, you ready for a nail salon a la Sylvia? I am. French. I'm I scared. know it. So this is my little nail station. I had this vanity for so long from Too Faced, a trip I did with them. Shout out to Too Faced, I love this thing, but I didn't fill it up. I didn't know what to put here. So finally, after I got all this nail stuff, I put it here and made this my little nail station. Basically, all you really need is a few things. I got this off Amazon. It can dry your nails super, super fast. I got a pack of these, which are some gel nail colors with a base and a top coat. And these couple other shades, those are also from Amazon. And this is the main 
main thing that you'll need. I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's from a brand called Nailene, and it's a full set of everything you need for acrylic nails for beginners. I'm gonna start by just filing the top layer of my nail because it helps the nail and the glue kind of stick on better. And just a disclaimer, I'm obviously not a pro at this. This is just how I learned to do it and what works for me, and I feel like they look pretty good, so I'm gonna show you what I do. Now I'm ready to glue on the nail tips. I'm gonna find one that's the right size for that nail. This one looks like it's a perfect fit. Now I'm gonna take this nail glue that also came in the kit, apply that on the tip of my natural nail and also the base of the fake nail and hold it down for about 30 seconds. Make sure it's fully glued on there. Now it's time to cut the nail to the length that you want. So I'm gonna cut it similar to the other nails. I got this fake nail clipper from Amazon. I'll link everything down below. Because I'm doing coffin tip, just to make it easier when we go in filing, we don't have to file as much if we cut each corner here. I'm gonna take the nail file that came in the kit. One side is really rough for the acrylic and then the other side is for your natural nails. It's more of a softer grain. You can also find really big ones from like Sally's. And I'm just gonna start to file it into the coffin nail shape that I like. So now that I've got it into the shape that I want, I'm ready to put on the powder. The kit did come with one of these brushes, but it kind of broke and fell apart. So I just bought one for really cheap on Amazon. And then I've already poured in the acrylic liquid that came with the kit as well. And I'm just gonna dip the brush into that, wipe off the excess and lightly dip it into the powder. So then it turns into a little gel kind of consistency. And first I'm gonna place that down right in the center where that fake nail connects to my natural nail. And then you slowly wanna push down closer to your cuticle, really gently gently and maneuver the gel. I'm gonna wipe my brush so it's a little drier and I can have more control over this. It also helps if your cuticles have already been pushed back before you get to this step, so I recommend definitely doing that. And once the base is pushed down to your cuticles, you can smooth out the rest of it towards the tip of your nail. So now I'm gonna dip back in and do another round of this powder for the tip of the nail. So that's gonna be placed right there on the tip. And instead of going down towards the cuticle, I'm gonna go towards the tip of the nail. Just make sure your brush is not too wet so then it's easier to maneuver the gel powder stuff. And there we go, it's nice and smooth. I'm just gonna let that dry in my nail lamp for a few seconds. Now that it's dry, I'm just gonna do one final file just to make sure we don't lose that shape because of that acrylic powder. Now that I've got the shape down,